Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech. And Nick Reed's Twin Turbo Hyper DeLorean has just gone up for auction. And it just hit $100,000 a little bit ago. Still has seven days to go. And we're going to take a look at this auction here and, and show you what this car is about. So you may have seen this car. We've got a couple of videos about it. It does have a Kia Stinger 3.3 liter V6 and two Garrett turbochargers. It's got the Porsche 911 transaxle, lots of other modifications uh, done to the car. And the whole goal behind this car was to sort of keep it stock looking, but had enough horsepower to this car to make it the fastest DeLorean in the world. So Nick Reed picked up this car not that long ago and had OMD in San Diego do all the modifications. You can see a list of all the modifications that's been done on the car. So it has a limited slip differential. It's got, um, it's actually been completely regrained. It's got custom black leather upholstery. So it does have the Recaro seats in there. It's got uh, KW suspension, coilovers. It has a few other suspension modifications that aren't listed on here. We'll take a look at those in a bit. It has front and rear 15 inch wheels. It's got the Ferrari brakes. It's got a 80s Alpine stereo and amplifier with some kicker speakers in it. So the story here is that this 81 DeLorean remained in storage for nearly 20 years before being purchased by Nick in 2019 as a non-running project. An ensuing custom build saw the installation of a Kia Stinger sourced 3.3 liter V6 fitted with twin Garrett G25 turbochargers and paired with a six-speed manual transaxial and limited slip differential, the latter two of which were sourced from a Porsche 996.2911. Additional modifications include a three-inch center exit dual exhaust system, Recaro seats, KW variant two coilovers, Ferrari 348 challenge sourced brake calipers, and an Alpine stereo. This modified DMC-12 is now offered in San Diego, California, with a window sticker, original sales paperwork, factory books, and a clean Michigan title in the seller's name. More about the whole Michigan title in a bit here. Jajaro styled bodywork features brushed stainless steel panels and urethane front and rear fascias mounted on a composite underbody and a Lotus derived steel chassis. This example is said to have had its body panels regrained by CE Detail of San Diego. California under current ownership, which means that Nick actually had the car regrained himself. The front and rear fascias were painted with a matte silver finish. It looks really cool. I've seen it up close, and it, re it really is nice with that matte silver finish on the front fascia and the rear fascia. Features include an exposed engine bay, meaning that the engine cover has been deleted. All four 15-inch turbine-style wheels are factory rear units and are mounted with titanium lug nuts and a 225 45 front and 235 50 rear Toyo Proxies R888R tires. Suspension modifications include the KW coilovers, polyurethane bushings, reinforced control arms, and Inconel trailing arm bolts. I also noticed that it did have the Batleth, which is the shock tower brace offered by DeLorean Parts Northwest, and it's also got what appears to be the DPI control arm suspension support links we'll take a look at those in a minute the braking system features ferrari 348 challenge source calipers at all four corners as well as ap racing rotor rings and rotor hats sourced from omd in san diego the cockpit features recaro specialist m seats trimmed in black leather along with a matching dashboard center console and door panels features include air conditioning power windows leather shift boot Porsche 996 shifter assembly with GT3 style bushings, a function first shift knob, a stack boost gauge, and period Alpine 7164 head unit connected to an Alpine amplifier and kicker speakers fitted in stock locations. Leather wrapped steering wheel frames an 85 MPH speedometer, tachometer, and auxiliary gauges. The five digit odometer shows over 22,000 miles. 3,500 of which were added under current ownership. There's a nice picture of the engine bay. 3.3 liter V6 was sourced from a Kia Stinger and is fitted with Garrett 
Twin Garrett G25 550 turbochargers. Additional modifications include a custom intake manifold built by OMD that houses the port fuel injection components, as well as custom air to air intercoolers that feature pusher fans mounted underneath. ECU tuning was completed by OMD and features 8,050 RPM redline and nine pounds of boost. Cooling is handled through a large double pass radiator with dual fans and an aluminum shroud along with oversized aluminum cooling lines and a remote oil cooler with a Kia oil filter mounted behind the left quarter panel. Dynamometer test results show a peak power output output at 487 horsepower. Draggy screenshots provided by the seller show a 0 to 60 MPH time of 3.9 seconds and a quarter mile time of 11.65 seconds at 124 MPH. Power is sent to the rear wheels via six speed manual transaxial and limited step differential, both of which were sourced from a Porsche 996.2 911. An ACT clutch and Willwood clutch master cylinder are fitted along with an OMD flywheel. The chassis features a reinforced lower rear cross member and powertrain mounts, while an upper front and removable rear upper cross member have been added. Fuel system modifications include AEM4 LPH in tank and inline fuel pumps, an aeromotive fuel pressure regulator, an inline fuel filter, OMD fuel lines, and an OMD one gallon slosh tank in the quarter panel, the latter of which is said to help prevent fuel starvation from the non baffled factory fuel tank. The seller reports the vehicle can operate on either E85 or 91 plus octane fuel. Window sticker shows delivery to Woodson Pontiac in Roanoke, Virginia, and a total suggested retail price of $26,175. Carfax report shows history in Virginia, North Carolina, and Michigan from April 96 to February 2021 and lists no accidents or other damage. The car is titled in Michigan, and here it is, is located in California. It cannot pass a California emissions test and therefore cannot be sold to a California private party buyer. So they've got a lot of cool videos here that you can take a look at so here's sort of a uh, walk around video that they've got you can take a look at that i'll drop a link in the description to this entire uh auction and yeah there's the uh there's the engine compartment there it's pretty awesome So there's a, a video here as well, the start. Sounds really awesome. And here you are inside the car. And we've got a little startup and test drive. Look at that shifter. That's from a Porsche 911. You can check out that Alpine stereo there too. It's very period correct for the car. So we got these. There's a couple other videos that they've got in here, including the recent sort of uh, Warthog versus DeLorean video uh, that was put up just recently, as well as another <laughs> and another video uh, that talks about the car as well. Uh, tons of photos. I want to say there's over 300 photos of this car, and these photos are, are really impressive. The car uh, is very nice. Obviously, uh, if you've seen the videos on YouTube, and there's quite a few videos out there, we did a few ourselves. We got to see the car in person, and it really is nice, both inside and out. Although when we did see it the last time, it was still under construction it was still being put together as far as the interior goes but most of the out exterior stuff was already complete so it does sit on the kw suspensions you got that lowered stance right there the stance looks perfect on this car again it's got the 15 inch wheels in the front as well as the back the reason for that was because it needed to fit brakes in there the front wheels being 14 inch would not be able to fit those brakes so tons of photos of the car. Here's some outdoor photos. This, for whatever reason, looks a little bit lower than it did in the other photos. It might just be the lighting. 
But it could also be that maybe the uh, KW suspension has been adjusted between these photographs here. But you can take a look at what this. Is. This is really nice. And here's some photos of it driving on the road. And it is absolutely a driving car. There's some more close-ups. Look at that grain work. That looks pretty flawless to me. So $100,000 already, and it's been up for a little over 12 hours. Still got seven days to go, so really there's no telling what's going to happen here. A lot of folks online have been saying that this car won't break 100000 That was done in about 12 hours already. It's got a North Carolina uh, sticker on it on the front. I remember seeing that when we went and saw it over there at Stainless Summer. There's the Alpine head unit. It's pretty nice. So there's the Recaro seats. We got to sit in those. Very comfortable. Really matches the car. Actually, it looks they look do look better than the DeLorean uh, factory seats. Um, wow, look at this. Look at all that in there. All the electronics. For, for the most part, the interior uh, is pretty stock, pretty original. There's the trunk. And it does have the DPNW, DeLorean Parts Northwest, shock tower brace, a.k.a. the Batleth. So that's something that I wasn't aware of. It may be a recent ad when uh, he he also added a few other things here, and I'll show you in a minute to the suspension. He added some uh, lower control arm support links. When I first saw the car and got to the test drive in the uh, spotlight video that we did, it did not have the lower control arm support links in it. So here's some detailed photographs of the engine compartment, the twin turbo setup that he's got the garrett turbochargers in it the undercarriage here where the engine is this is very nice you can see there it's not hanging like some other cars uh it's tucked up very clean definitely cleaner than uh factory so you can kind of see the there it is right there look lower control arm support links these look like updated dpi units or maybe they are uh were manufactured by somebody else i honestly don't know but these are very similar to what uh, we've seen from dpi we're also running in a delorean tech car the other carriage is very nice the whole frame has been painted in a like a silver color that kind of matches the body of the car i thought that was pretty cool when i got to see it there are the ferrari brakes here's another photo of the boxed in lower control arms with the support links and the KW suspension. So the KW suspension, all four corners, is bright height adjustable. So he's even got uh, these, the original um, documentation for the car. Original key. All right, so those are all the photos. And yeah, he's he did a great job uh, listing this. I mean, the, the amount of photos here is it's just ridiculous. <laughs> so $100,000 currently, six days left, uh, ends on November 9th, if you're interested. Um, you know, $100,000 for DeLorean, really, in the grand scheme of things, is not a lot. So right now, refurbished, high-end DeLoreans uh, will probably fetch about $70,000, $80,000, maybe even $90,000. So $100,000 for a car like this that has obviously been completely gone through and, and fully upgraded uh, is, is really not a bad deal. It was 
you know, it may seem shocking to, to some, but uh, the reality is that $100,000 really isn't. And here it is at 826 uh, today, November 2nd. Um, I thought it was interesting because the bid before that was $65,000. So uh, it jumped to $100,000 uh, just a couple hours later. So total of about 17 bids right now. And you can t see kind of where the bidding went. It started off at like, I think it was like $8,888 or something like that. So, but again, $100,000 for, for this quality, this level of car really is not a, a big deal. Um, when, you, when you think about DeLoreans in general, where the market is headed, how much went into this car. And you've, obviously, if you're watching this video, you may have probably already seen all of the other videos, including the, the build Look at that video. Bob even uh, bid on it, thirty-three thousand. So <laughs> uh, maybe uh, he was going to uh, convert this to a time machine or something. <laughs> the world's fastest time machine. Anyway, so it it did. Here's a, a note from Nick right here. It has flex fuel, so that's interesting. The E85, like we mentioned before, um, everything was custom fab by OMD. And it looks like he just drove it a thousand plus miles to the Monterey Car Week, and um, the DMC was shown at Quail in twenty one. So KW is currently set at comfortable rate. Where cars are comfortable and keep you in place. Traps one hundred and fifty point eight two mph in the half mile, and sixty to one thirty is eight point seven seconds. And this car pulls hard from a roll. I can attest to that. It's super fast. Uh, I've driven vets. I've driven some pretty fast cars. And I've this car is ridiculously fast. I was, I was pretty impressed. And let's see what we got here. So, yeah, it started off at... Yeah, $8,888. Uh, today at 9.30 in the morning. So it's already at $100,000 and it's 10.17 p.m. So as of 8.26 or so, it went to 100000 So anyway, it, really curious to see where this is going to end up. And this is pretty crazy. This is probably uh, one of the most famous DeLoreans currently. So we'll see where this ends up. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop those down in the comments. And once again, thanks for watching.